Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It's me again. Uh, so today is March 27th, you guys. Um, this is day nine of quarantine. I have been very busy in my garden. I uh, just wanted to show you guys uh, what I've been up to. I've done a lot of, like I said, a lot of orchid spring cleaning. Um, and also, uh, my husband's been busy out here just pressure cleaning everything and making everything look pretty. And I am so happy about that. So I wanna share with you guys what I've been up to. I'm also gonna show you guys new blooms and I'm also gonna show you guys what I've been doing with some of my orchids. Uh, so I wanted to start, let's see, with some new blooms. So we're gonna walk over here and I am going to show you this beauty. So she is in full bloom. This is my Dendrobium Linlei. I purchased her back in October or November, not sure which of those two months, um, was when Moats had their open house. And that is when I bought this beauty. Uh, she was not in bloom when I got her. So I'm very excited that she is in bloom right now. So many of you guys have been showing me your Dendrobium Linlei's, which are gorgeous with like, 10 12 14 spikes and they look amazing uh, mine only gave me two <laughs> but i'm very grateful because i have never been able to bloom these i did kill one um a few years back and i was very hesitant to buy it again um you know just because i i don't like when my orchids don't do well of course none of us do uh, but you know i'm always scared to just buy it again so waste my money and for it to die so this one surprised me with a spike um, a few weeks ago and then now with these gorgeous blooms so I wanted to share that with you I wanted to also let you know how she's mounted so she is mounted on this coconut husk right over here and um, she has I when I got her um, from molds she already had the slow release fertilizer uh, so moving forward I do want to make sure that she continues to bloom for me every year and I've gotten some great advice from you guys on what to do um, now in the growing season and what to do um, when I'm gonna put her through the winter's rest and all that. So um, hopefully next season, uh, next time she blooms, I'll get more than two. So I wanted to show you these, just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful orchids. So beautiful orchid, beautiful vibrant yellow blooms. And hopefully she'll continue to grow and you know, keep rewarding me. All right, so those are some new blooms that I that I had um, to share with you. I also want to uh, just let's see. Oh, show you that my din, my um, my Vanda Desionania Desionana. There's a tag up there. Uh, she's got a spike, and these are some gorgeous. This is a Vanda species. Um, uh, probably one of maybe four in total that I have that are species in my collection. Uh, this one came from Banjong, and um, her flowers are yellow. Um, and they get darker as they go and they last a pretty long time. So that's exciting that I found that um, That spike right there. I've got a spike over here also on my Vanda La Merada with a Vanda Mountain Chai from Platio L'Orchidia um, So you guys I just wanted to also share with you that um, if you want to order orchids um, Go ahead and do that and now is the perfect time because a lot of these orchid growers are not working They're um, actually very dependent on online orders so um, if you like any of my orchids that I show you today and, and you wanna, um, you know, I'll, I'll give the name and, and stuff like that. Moats does ship. Um, I believe they're holding off on the shipping until the end of March, uh, but that's with Moats. Um, Bangjong does ship um, their orchids um, and that one is um, with Bangjong. And Pladio Lorquidia, I'm not sure, but you can find out with them. Let me just show you the tag. I always see them at orchid shows. Um, they're in Sarasota. They do have a website, um, and that is their information there. And, um, and as I go along, I'll just show you guys um, and tell you more about the growers. So maybe if you want to support them, their small businesses, if you want to support them and order through them, that'll be wonderful. I am also looking. I am on the hunt. Um, for more orchids I want to add more and this is gonna be I guess it's gonna turn into one of those videos where I just talk about a little bit about everything so I'm sorry I want to add more dendrobium nobilis to my palms so if you guys um, know of any dendrobium nobilis that I might like um, leave me the comments below let me know where I can order them so I can go ahead and do that um, I will uh, give a Carmela a call today and um, and just see if he has any that he can ship me 
So um, we have to continue supporting, like I said, these small businesses, these small orchid growers, because you know we're, they're not working right now. Everything is not like everybody else, you guys. I'm, remember, this is an orchid channel, so I'm gonna focus on uh, my orchid growers. I can't really um, talk about anybody else because you know this is an orchid channel. So as much as everybody else is struggling, um, you know these orchid growers are also struggling so um, if you can help them out and you know shop online they have websites they can ship and you know that way we can all just keep everybody you know in business right so anyway um anyway moving forward i will um tell you guys where i got them so if you want to order you know you know where to order um all right so um adding to my collection you guys i want to add these in every single color uh, because if you've seen my videos from from the beginning of the year I want to focus on orchids that I can grow and kind of uh, um, add to my collection so I am looking for more dendrobium anusmums uh, this dendrobium right here came from RF orchids uh, they do ship and they do have a website and there you go that's their information right over there um, I am looking for the white ones I'm looking for the purple ones I think there's even one that's like um, a blue with a with a blue lip or something that um, somebody told me about so I'm definitely gonna be adding more of dendrobium and asmans soon in my collection now that I know that I can grow them so stay tuned for that um, what else did I want to share with you guys I have like I said spring cleaning there is nothing down here anymore no more clutter of orchids I everything is on the palms I have um, added all of my insidiums um, to my gumbo limbo which I want to take you out there out there before I finish with this video I just left under here um, let's see I left the big sherry baby that I wanted to um, to separate um, to divide I did leave her here for a little bit uh, just because she's really big I don't want to hurt it so she'll be here for a little while longer um, I've got this cymbidium that I don't know what to do with um, this is the beautiful one that I got with Carmela. Um, she's probably going to stay here for a little bit. And I don't know if I'm going to put her out more in the sun. And then this, this Encyclia. This Encyclia is probably going to go on my tree. Yeah, it's an Encyclia. It's an Epi Catalea. Epi something with Encyclia. I don't know. But not sure what I'm going to do with her. She's growing, so I'm probably going to put her um, on my palm. And, um, and this alicera has got a spike. So as soon as that spike um, blooms, she's going to my insidium tree. And I am going to, uh, to go over there once I'm done over here, showing you everything and um, what else I've done. So like I said, everything is out of here. I am so happy. It's like, I can finally see my floor again. Um, still have to work on these. So up here, I have my catacetums that I'm not watering yet because the growth, you see how small it is? I've been told not to water them one, until, they're, um, they're, until their roots get longer and their growths get bigger. So for now, these are not getting watered. Okay, these are just um, the other catacetums. There you go, that has a little growth right there. And then I have a few more scattered and I have one on my, on my tree, which I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, my sherry baby here is gonna bloom soon. This is my non-stop bloomer right here, my sherry baby. Uh, and, okay, all right. So let me now show you what I've done over here. All right, so I've placed the catacetums that are growing fast right here by my Vandas because these, these guys love to drink and eat once they get this big. So I've put them all here the ones that have grown i mean look at this one this one even has a spike yay that one has a spike all right so um look at these roots i love catacetums i just love catacetums they're so pretty so this is a tag for this one now this one came from cruel smith not sure if cruel smith um ships but definitely look them up they have they do have great catacetums uh this one right here is my Millennium Magic. I got one from Linda from Ritter's. So if you want to just check her out to see what she's got. Um, and like I said, I have all of, and of course, Sunset Valley Orchids that they ship. I love them, uh, which is uh, Sunset Valley Orchids. And that's their information right there. Okay. 
So um, like I said, so I have them here and they're gonna stay here for a little bit because they need to eat and they need to drink. So I will probably water them as much as I water my Vandas. Uh, Cause at this time they are growing, they need to be fed and they need to drink water. So they are there for now. My Vanda's right here. And then this is the section that I really wanted to show you guys. So these are my Cattleyas that I got this year. Um, these are our, 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 our gifts um, from you guys. So I do not want to mount these because these are very special to me. For now, I have them still in their original container. Um, I, I have been mentioning to you guys that I do want to put them inside clay pot bare rooted. And this is why I am here because I need your advice. So right now, let's see, I'm going to show you, show you this one for now. Um, all right. So this is the new growth. So it's growing. So this is my jungle, my jungle Mark Jones from Cruel Smith. And this one was gifted to me by Jason. Uh, he actually gave me two, actually these two right here, um, still in the original container. You see how it has, you know, it has like these, um, the, the bark chips, it's in hydroponics. I think that's what um, these are, which I'm not very, uh, you know, I, you guys, I do not do, my orchids don't do good in media. So eventually I want to do them. I want to put them bare root. So this is the media that they're in. Hopefully I can keep them in here, maybe get them to rebloom. Um, for me, they're kind of all in the same type of media. I got this from Waldorf Orchids in New York. Um, this is from Cruel Smith. Uh, this one is the one that Nelson gave me. And this one, I believe, came from, from Pam. So, right now, they're all in their original container in their original media. I do want to put them bare root, but you guys let me know. I mean, I have them right here. They're going to be out. They're not going to get direct direct sun since they're here fa uh, north facing right by my Vandas. And I won't overwater these, which is I think that's my problem with um, with the Cattleyas that I have inside media is that I overwater them without noticing. So I'm going to kind of just leave them out here and see how it goes before I make the decision whether I want to attach them or not. So. Um, that's where they are. This one here is a gift from Todd, which I'm going to get a basket that has no bottom for it. Um, and this is, I forgot the name. Of course, I forgot the name, Todd. I'm sorry, but uh, we, we, we had a conversation about these a few days ago. So um, you told me what to do and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. So that's where my cat layers are right now. Everything else, you guys, is mounted. Oh before I go over there. I wanted to show you what's going on with my mini fowls. All right, guys, so I do love these. They are continuous bloomers. I have one, look at this, just a beauty. This is my Philo, my Fowl Philo's Forever. Um, I got these, I believe with, um, I'm not sure if it was big, big green or big green leaf something like that. I got some with Brendron also, which they, they sell on eBay. Um, so I love these, but I don't love this. I mean, I know that uh, these, these leaves are pretty and what make the, make the orchid so pretty, but with my case, you know, I do have all water, so they get all white and they're just floppy and all over. So of course I'm gonna keep them. I just need to know where I'm gonna keep them. Either um, just keep them here in this corner or put them somewhere. Um, I don't know, in my garden, let me know. I've got a pretty spike from my zygo. All right, so that's what's been going on with all the cleaning and all the organizing. Look at that, I can actually see my floor. I'm very excited about that. This pressure cleaner still here because we're not done. Um, but I wanted to walk you over to, all right, let's walk you over to my Uncidium tree. And I'll, and I'll end my video there. I'm sorry, you guys. This is supposed, was supposed to be a short video. Um, I said, you know what? I'm just going to show you guys what I'm doing with my cat layers and my cat acetums. And always turns out to be a, a video where I talk about everything. <laughs> and also, I'm a little bit confused on what I've shown you guys because I do have... I do have my Orchid Diva in Spanish, Orchid Diva in Espanol, where um, once I finish doing one, I do the other. And then I, I, I add some stuff over there that I forget to um, show you guys. 
so then I get all confused so if you've seen all this um, you know I'm sorry mute it or skip it or whatever um, but I did put some Vandas on this palm uh, which is my Renanthera uh, James story that came from Linda from Ritter's so um, this one is from from Linda from Ritter's give her a give her a call or give her or visit her website if you guys want to order some of these um, this is my beautiful Aranthera Bertha Braga, which are these um, these really pretty, uh, just orange and brown, um, beautiful flowers. Uh, that's from um, from Rita. I always do that. That's from Linda from Ritter's, and they are on my palms. So, of course, my fowls, which I get from Heavenly Garden, that they don't ship. But if you're local and you want to visit them, Heavenly Garden um, is great. All right, so my Ancidiums out here are doing fantastic. They're all growing. They're happy. I added this one to the mix. They're growing, they're happy. They're throwing out multiple spikes. Look at this one. This is my, um, uh, this one's from RF. This is my Pacific Waters Paw Pride. Look how pretty, another, another um, spike and another bloom and then my gumbo limbo tree so this tree has become an oncidium tree all of a sudden um, with the exception of a few um, catleas that were gifted um, to me from todd this is a big mama cuttings which has a growth here and a growth over here todd told me that these are really going to start growing like crazy now so i'm very excited for that i've added um to this tree this Oncidium, um, also Pacific Waters. Uh, that one came from Carmela in a box. Let's see, and she's joining the party. That's my um, Benjobium Anasmum up there, which is in bloom. It's a little cakey that bloomed two little flowers for me and has some new growths. And then um, I added this Valera Big Shot High Low Sparkle right next to my Sherry Baby my heaven sent redolence that has two spikes and they're growing nicely uh, and then i added this one to it which is a francine rose glow which is i think it's pink so my gumbo limbo tree has become an oncidium tree <laughs> so i'm very excited about that and then i also added this oncidium twinkle here which i just um kind of took out the, the pot and just put it put her bare root in here with a little bit of media and and that you guys is my gumbo limbo so I've been busy I've been busy in the garden kind of um, trying to stay trying to stay occupied and busy and make everything look pretty now that we're home and there you go we can enjoy being out here oh I've got some new blooms from from this one that I keep inside a basket and this one look how pretty those I keep inside baskets this pretty white fowl beautiful added this dendrobium so I've got no more um, dendrobiums left in pots and then this is my vanilla which hopefully she will she will grow so nothing left in pots i really want to um like i said i would i really want to add more dendrobium nobilis out here and if you guys know of any pretty dendrobiums that i can add let me know of course i need to show you my beautiful cat leia oh my goodness so i am standing right here kind of like social distancing myself which i don't need to for my cat leia and i could smell her Look at that, I was about six feet away and she smells delicious. So look at how big she is. Oh, man. oh my goodness, and she smells so good. There you go. I'll be getting eight of these very soon. You guys have seen her in other videos, but she is just so beautiful. All right, so my cat Leia section is doing good. Um, kind of makes me, you know, when I see blooms like this and I see them uh, do well it wants to make me fertilize more and just pay more attention to them so um, probably going to be fertilizing this section next time I fertilize really really well 
and that's it you guys so here you go 20 minutes of another morning walk <laughs> i hope i'm not like overwhelming you guys with so many videos but you know it's this is also my way of you know getting away and and showing you guys just the beauty of orchids um, if you happen to find this channel just because you were browsing and you want to get into orchids i mean it's a beautiful hobby to have a very addicting but very beautiful hobby to have because i mean look at that how beautiful are they so you guys i'm going to end right here um, i'm going to jump on and do a video in spanish for um, the spanish speakers uh, that channel is growing very fast and i'm very thankful for that this is my dendrobium love mary fizz love memory fizz oh, it smells so good um, so i will be doing the same video in spanish every time i post you guys leave me messages in espanol por favor so it's coming it's coming right up as soon as i wrap this one up i will do it again in spanish so uh, that's it you guys and uh, this is how i spend my days um, so before the sun gets really really hot because by the way i wanted to add this also it has not rained in a very long time and it's probably not going to rain for another for another um i think they were saying like another 10 days at least um, amount of rain that we've gotten so it's very hot um no rain uh, i'm out of this out of out of the garden like around noon and then i start doing my candles so if you guys don't know i do have um some homemade uh delicious smelling candles available uh to ship um, and I'm actually going to be doing a special. So if you're ordering because you watch this video or because you follow me on YouTube, I will give you um, a nice, I will add, um, I don't know. Uh, mm, I don't want to say I'll give you free shipping because the shipping is so expensive. Um, but I will give you something. Um, once you order, uh, message me and I will work something out. I mean, I have been uh, doing upgrades add to some of my orders and and they've been happy so uh, if you message me and we'll and we'll and we'll work out something if you want to order some candles um, because I have those available and I do that once I'm out in the garden out of the garden because of the heat and look at this beautiful oh, look at that gorgeous phalaenopsis right there okay another one um that has um, an etsy store is natalia from just one more orchid so if you want to get some beautiful clay pots uh go check her page out on etsy she does amazing work um and let's keep supporting the small businesses you guys i mean we want them around when this is all over and we can only do that with all of your help so that's all thank you for watching um thank you for spending your time with me this video is 23 minutes long. I'm sorry. Um, I will see you soon in my next video. Have a wonderful weekend and I will probably see you before Monday. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and healthy. Bye-bye.